Well, so, uh, you know, my brother was the one that kind of introduced me to the free wholesale uh, houses uh, for real, like the group that you guys are in. And I have been a part of that group already for probably a year or so. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I see everybody like, you know, flexing their checks and, you know, oh, I'm making $40,000 and I'm making $20,000, $15,000. I work in real estate full time and, you know, it, it, it's been pretty bad lately just because of the interest rates, you know, since the interest rates went up to like almost 7% and just high in those numbers. Nobody's really buying anymore, Rick. So, you know, like uh, it's been a little difficult for me. I've had to use my savings, you know, to like, of course, cover for a lot of my expenses. And I'm just thinking to myself, man, like, you know, yes, I'm still working in real estate. Yes, I still have clients that, you know, are qualified and still looking for houses and stuff like that. But even that can be very time consuming, you know, so I would like to start, you know, just uh, learning a little bit more about how to wholesale houses, you know, because um, okay, I feel so like, yeah, go ahead. Let me unwind this a little bit because you just hit me with a lot. Okay. okay. Remember, Ronnie, I'm always, I'm always going to tell you the truth and I'm a firm believer in listening to people's vocabulary in their words. So let's back up here. You say you're in real estate full time. Explain that to me. Well, by what that, by what I mean is uh, I get referrals. I get people that are already pre-qualified that already have mm -hmm. gone through a bank. And like, for instance, today I had to go and show five houses earlier. So I just okay, recently Ronnie, got So back. you got to tell me, what are you doing in full time in real estate? Are you a realtor, a mortgage broker? I am a realtor. It? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I probably should have said that. I'm a realtor. So there's I'm a, a reason I'm anything. telling you this. You were talking like a realtor. You sound like a realtor and you're giving me realtor complaint. I'm just being brutally honest with you because all those complaints you gave me have nothing to do with wholesaling. So okay. if those are complaints and being a realtor, I get it. I'm not a realtor though. So I hear your complaints, but honestly, all, every complaint you gave me about it has nothing to do with wholesaling. I, I, well, I don't, yeah. I don't look at interest rates. I don't care what interest rates are. Um, I don't deal with retail and I don't deal with people looking to get financing and get full value for their houses. So, um, you can't compare, listen, don't make the grave mistake. How long have you been a realtor for? Four years now going into five. Are you making any money doing it? I was in the beginning. Yes. But these past, uh, year and a half has been really, really rough. So, uh, and I'm in no way like complaining to you about what I do. Uh, you know, we, even with the years of real estate that I've been doing it, uh, mm -hmm. I have been able to get like a lot of cash buyers and I can easily be able to pull comps. Uh, I feel like I have somewhat of good communication skills with people. I tend to be pretty patient. I just would like to learn like from the pros, like you guys, like you. And, and so you've uh, already been in, in uh, freewholesaling.com for a year. Have you just been kind of checking it out? Kind of like, I have be honest been. with me, it's okay. Yes, I have been, I have been. I, I have not really kind of like gotten, uh, I have been checking out prop stream videos and things like that, but I just have okay. not signed up for any I got of that. two more questions for you and I, I'm getting somewhere with this. So follow me. What made you become a licensed realtor? Honestly, uh, my brother-in-law, he's a broker and he's the one that, you know, uh, Got I it. used to work at a Mexican restaurant as a server. He was like, Hey, you know, you got, you're it. pretty good at upselling stuff like margaritas. You can sell mm -hmm. houses too. So that's why I tried it. So did you, okay. So you just said the key word there, you tried it. And so after <laughs> four years, what's your summation of it? Uh, I mean, I have some savings, I have my own house and everything. So I have been blessed by that, but, um, I would just like to make a little bit more money. And so what's, the, now, what's the most you've made as a realtor in one year, honestly. Um, and I'm not, I'm not, a, you can like give a range. I'm 90, not to... maybe, maybe 90,000. I would have to okay. say almost close to, to six figures. Yeah. So Ronnie, I'm going to, I'm going to give you the truth here your your realtor career is not working out and i'm going to yeah. just give you you have to make a decision you're in a crossroads because you're kind of you know it's not working out that's why you're stalking us on freewholesaling.com it's just the truth i'm not <laughs> yeah. bragging on you okay but yeah the reality is it's not working out and we're finding excuses why it's not working out you're going to have to make a decision how old are you I'm, i'll be 34 in a few months in August. okay so yeah. when i was at the ripe old age of 33 i decided i could not take the corporate world anymore. And that's when I found wholesaling. And honestly, I worked that job because I had a lot of obligations. I had two small children and I just couldn't get up and go. So, you know, I made around hundred K. I thought I was making good money, 120 maybe. I hated every minute of my life with it. It just mm. sucked. It was terrible. And I said, there's gotta be something better than this. And so I decided right. to make a massive change. And in seven months, I beyond changed the trajectory of my life. I was able to quit my job, 
tell my boss to go take a flying leap, which was probably the best part of it. It's probably better than the first million dollars I made. And I've never looked back. You have one problem. I'm just going to tell you right now. People have a tough time transitioning from realtor world to wholesaling world. Dude, it's like night and day. I'm just telling you, you cannot even try to align and compare them because it's going to kill you. It's the number one reason I tell wholesalers not to go get your real estate license because if you want to be a wholesaler, why would you get your real estate license? Oh, somebody told me it's going to protect me. It's not. It's going to train you like a realtor and you're going to wind up being a realtor. Now, yeah. if you want to cross over, you're going to have to make some hard decisions. Are you happy with your current financial status right now? No. So make a decision, man. Like, honestly, I, you have to make it. I can't make it for you. I've yeah, put 21 absolutely. years of my life and I've already proven it. Um, I talked to uh, a kid today was basically working like a, a really rough job and he just did a deal for 72 grand. He's got four other deals coming in and honestly, he ain't far from you either. And he had no skills. He just took incredible action and worked through it. And I'm here to tell you, there's no difference between him, you and me. The only difference is people who go in the wholesaling, they make a commitment and they make a decision. And here's the thing is ready for this, Ronnie, you're going to yeah. have to leave your old life and create a new life. But that's how we all grow. The old rules have not served you and worked for you. You got to stop trying stuff. You got to do stuff, man. I'm just telling you, if you want to take the dip at the wholesaling, you can't put your toes into it. It doesn't work. Most realtors dip their toes into it. They make some money when the market's hot. And the minute it goes down, they go, well, interest rates and inventory and the economy. None of that matters in wholesaling. Yeah, I, I buy properties and I flip them. I watch people get 12% loans on me all the time just because they're making so much money. Interest rates to me is like a realtor thing. Who gives a crap? If you're yeah, making money, I borrowed money at 30, 40% to make hundred thousand dollars. So like you're looking at the granular stuff from a listen, the realtor thing ain't working out. You just got to be brutally honest. And if it's not wholesaling, that's for you. Then go find something that you're just going to get excited about and have fun with. And listen, you gave it a try, but I will warn you, you cannot try wholesaling. You got to do it. And you can study till you churn blue. Most people are successful in their first three to six months because they just took action. The ones that sit there and just consume the information and they never move on, they they just never get it. And honestly, it's not a wholesaling problem, it's a mental problem. And there's no Absolutely. difference between successful people, between you and me, the difference is, I just, I made an investment myself and it's not always financially and I just made decisions as I move forward. The actions you take for the rest of this year will dictate 2024. The problem is we're also stuck in the present. We get so frustrated and you want to blame interest rates and you want to blame the market. Dude, take complete ownership for your life. Take inventory and make a decision. And when you make that decision, the clarity will come and amazing things will happen in your life. But I, listen, I used to make excuses. I even made excuses as a wholesaler. And one day I just said, I'm not going to take one more excuse. And if you ever want a massive change, guys, I'm telling you, if you're stuck in your head, the Tony Robbins, um, um, unleash your power within the UPW. If he comes to your area, check it out. If not get a recorded copy, the guy will get in your head and just say, listen, stop setting for, stop settling for a mediocre life. You can have whatever you want in life. You're only limited by what you tell yourself. The same tired story you just told me in the beginning, we started this. If you keep telling yourself the same story you're stuck there forever. You're never going to get out of it. So you have the power to change it. How do people go from broke to being millionaires? Like in a short amount of time, they have to make a massive change. And the crazy part yeah. is you will have to change yourself. Now who comes along with you in the ride? That's up to you. And you're going to lose a lot of your friends and people are going to get upset. But if you want to live that type of lifestyle, you have to make a change. I had to do it slowly oh, over time. It took a lot of time. And then I learned how to make a lot of money through wholesaling. And I went through a 10 year journey on how to keep the money and how to grow the money because I was immature and irresponsible and I had to learn. So I only buy assets that make me more money over time. And the toys I buy, I pay cash and it doesn't even slightly affect me. And so like, I look at life completely different and that's how you have to do it. So here's what I need you to do. When you get off this call, you need to sit down and have a hard decision. Are you single, married, children? I'm single. Yeah, no kids. No okay, kids. so dude, make a decision, man. Like seriously, I'm telling you, man. It's you. You just I got I, I got to feel it in you, man, because you're like living like oh, I'm gonna try the realtor thing. And my suggestion, no, I definitely want to. It, like, now yeah, you can I've keep your license. I would my my thing would tell you to let it expire because I don't want you to be a realtor. And my fear is you go into wholesaling. And people go, well, I can do both. The reality is if you're making a ton of money in wholesaling, why would you sit there and settle for nickels and dimes when you can be making like Benjamins the entire time? And yeah, that's when people try to do the dull rule. I'm telling you, I give stuff to my realtors. They give me a nice marketing fee. I don't have to do any work and I still make money off of them. The money is always in getting the leads 
and honestly finding off market properties. You can start at freewholesaling.com. The whole thing's right there for you. Yeah. You got to make a decision though. You got to make a decision. I, I am. I am definitely going to make the decision. Uh, I, one thing I wanted to ask you, and I mean, I don't know, hopefully this question is not weird. <clears throat> The thing is, I have other realtor friends. They're not really friends. They're like acquaintances that also do the wholesaling themselves. But I have kind of reached out to them, you know, for like help and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. they have been, you know, not super friendly. At least you guys in the community on Facebook, everybody's like super friendly and super cool about things. And, you know, well, my question basically is like, um, is there a way maybe that I could even like shadow you guys or even work for free for you guys or like helpful comp or something so, just so to get more knowledge? Secret, okay. I want everybody watching this live stream to understand this. Okay. We've had probably three, 400,000 people go through wholesaling, freewholesaling.com. The reality in our industry, and honestly, a big part of it is the gurus, but I'm not completely blaming blaming gurus because there's people who've had success. There's a 95% failure ratio in this business and you got to go. Now, a big part of that is people sell you courses and tell you you're going to flip houses while you sit on the beach and drink margaritas, right? Mm -hmm. You know, that's not the reality of it, right? You, you've even had a wake up call as a realtor. So if I get four or 500,000 people that go through this and you're talking about those checks they post, the people that committed the most and took the most action are the ones that post the checks, the ones that just kind of kick it on the curb. Now, everybody has a different learning pace. Um, I was a terrible student and I was told I would never get a job and my teachers were right. I was meant to lead and help people come along. And that's what I do best at. You put me in a structure and I got to read a book. I got to take a test. I'm a dead man. And I know that. And so I learned by action. So this isn't the thing where you're going to learn for two years and then take action. You got to go out and take action as you go, because it wires into your nervous system. You get results. And either way, you're going to get an outcome. And people think when you fail, it's over. Failing just teaches you to move on and learn from it. So you either get a lesson or you get a paycheck. They're both extremely valuable. Absolutely. So the reality is, if we have a high failure rate, how can you protect yourself? Then you don't have to be one of the failures. The people that make a decision, that's first. And the ones that take the most action and don't complain, that's, that's the secret. Honestly, I could sell that as a $25,000 course. And I guarantee people would buy it from me because it's the true secret. I've had 21 years experience. I'm an expert on this. We are not yeah, like no. you might be, you're probably a lot smarter than me. I'm not a super smart guy. No, the, the wealthiest people in this world are the people that get stuff done and they lose their excuses and they move forward regardless of what happens. Do you think I've hit a home run on every deal? Do you don't think I have deals that fall apart? I have so much crap that hits my, I've had lawsuits. I've had everything that happened. I've had everything to stop me. The only difference is I never stop. So I still wholesale today. I love this. And I love JVing with people all over the country because I get to learn about all different markets. So here's the bottom line, Ron. You got to make a decision. And until you make that decision, you will not make the progress. Absolutely. So go have a talk, your broker, your friend, family member, and say, listen, dude, this ain't working out. And take accountability for what you haven't do. And if you want to go into it, dive into it all the way. I, by the way, I know realtors that make millions and millions of dollars. It's the same thing. When you commit to it, you can do it. But that's more of like a sales job. Wholesaling is not selling. So can 100%. you commit to me to make a decision? That's the question. I definitely want to. I definitely want to, even for them to just like slow down with like giving me so many clients, like pre-qualified people. Because like I said, sometimes, unfortunately, a lot of people just kind of like to waste your time. They just like to window shop and, oh yeah, I want to go see. I know, Ronnie, but like you, you got to get to the point, man. You just got to make a decision. Like so, I, I'm just so going to tell I you agree. straight up. Like this is like, I, I'm all about like, dude, man up. Like, I, I don't have another, like, just do it. And if yeah. you want to make a change yeah. in life, I'm telling you one year, you could change the entire trajectory, but you got to make that decision. And the more you sit and kind of sit in that la la land, you're just, your brain's yeah, like no. confused. It doesn't know what to do. So sit down oh, yeah, and I write agree. the pros and cons and make a decision and call me back. You want to come on the live Thursday or next Monday? I, I'll be happy to help you out. I'll, I would love to. Thank you so much. Okay, for your Ronnie. Time and for okay, your man.